and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for some Gruel Goblins in Historic. We got a, a sweet donation deck. We got three donation decks to play today. This is what we're starting off with. So this is um, this is mono red goblins that's splashing mostly for Song of Fraley's. This uh, cool saga from Dominaria. So chapter, both chapters 1 and 2 are until your next turn, creatures you control gain tap, add 1 mana of any color. And then, uh, so like, so basically what that does is with uh, chapters 1 and 2, since you can, all these creatures will be tap, add 1 mana of any color, it allows you to empty your hand and play even more creatures. Um, Warchief is uh, really key with Song of Fraley's because <clears throat> Warchief allows your goblins to have haste. So if your goblins have haste and you can tap them to add mana of any color, you can just, just start tapping all, you know, you play your goblin, tap it, add mana, and so on. Um, and it also makes your goblins cost one less. So then, you know, you get another Warchief out there. Now your goblins cost two less. And so now, like, War Boss only costs one mana. You play it, you get to tap it again. So, you you know, you can kind of play infinite goblins there. You have Goblin Ringleader. Uh, you know, especially if you can make this thing cost a lot less, and then also tap your goblins, you know, be able to play it, look at the top four cards of your library, put goblins reveal this way into your hand, and then, you know, so you can keep on gassing up. Um, and then besides just being able to tap your goblins for mana, you can also, with Skirk Prospector, sacrifice them for a mana. So you can, like, play a Skirk Prospector for one, tap it for one, sack it for another one, and so you actually just gained a mana from your Skirk Prospector. You know, and uh, didn't even cost a mana to play. So you went from zero to plus one, um, and so on. And you, you know, you can do that like, you know, with Instigator can be plus two mana. You know, you play Instigator, you tap both of them, and now you add your two red mana back, then you just sack them, <laughs> and so on. So, uh, yeah, so like maybe you just like kind of empty your whole hand with a bunch of goblins, ringleader, go get a whole lot more. Um, that's kind of that's kind of the plan here. Rin the Wild also gives your creatures haste um, as well. So, you know, we have, like, these two things that can give all your creatures haste. Uh, but then our third chapter, if we, you know, we got all these all these out here. Um, third chapter also, put a plus one, plus one counter on each creature you control. They gain Vigilance, Trample, and Indestructible. Um, and, you know, we just do that and, and hopefully attack for a bunch. Uh, but, yeah, like, I don't, I don't know if this is going to work. It seems... Uh, it seems pretty fragile, um, but it could be a lot of fun, and so that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do today. Uh, who knows how good it will be. We got Icon of Ancestry, you know, to help get us some extra creatures as well, um, and that's our deck. You know, then you have, like, your War Boss and your Cranko and, your, like I said, your Ringleader, um, and that, that's our deck there. Our Cyborg has all the Volley Veterans. If our opponent's playing other creatures that we want to kill, we got some Trash Masters. Uh, for another Lord effect uh, to be able to get extra, you know, get that plus one, plus one in there. Um, and it looks like we got some Awakened Infernos that we can try to ramp into Awakened Inferno. That sounds pretty sweet. Honestly, with this deck list, the two cards I like the least are honestly Rhythm of the Wild and Icon of Ancestry. I feel like those are going to be our worst cards, to be honest. Um, I kind of would, would rather have just, you know, obviously I haven't played this yet. So this is, this is just, uh, you know, speculating here. Uh, you know, this was a donation deck, but just speculating, I think instead of those five, I'd rather have cards like Trash Master, Volley Veteran, and Chandra, like these cards up here. But we're going to play some games. We're going to kind of see how it uh, how it goes. Uh, let's see if we get to, to combo off with goblins. You know, people always talk about Elf Ball. We're going to have Goblin Ball. All right, so it is a best of three deck. The only way to play best of three in historic is ranked. I wish we could kind of play this unranked because you know this is some um, this is a little janky deck that we're just trying out. I wish we could play it unranked to to maybe uh, give it a little bit easier competition. But that's all right. We're gonna throw it straight to the fire. Goblins like getting thrown to the fire, right? Deck doesn't have very many lands. There we go. I kind of feel like I'm going to put the shock back. I think I actually want the three lands. Cool. 
Cranko with haste is is pretty awesome. Boo. I could sack it and add one, but that doesn't really do anything. I'm glad we kept all the lands. I think we did a good job with that mulligan. Hey, Soul Farmer. No, it has not, Vertilux. Ooh. Okay. A feather deck. Technically, I should be playing that second main and attacking first, because if they have a shock, attack them first, because maybe they shock one of these two things. Didn't really expect them to shock one of the one ones, though. Okay, so I guess they just don't have a threat in hand. They kept a, a hand with just um, Defiant Strikes and other things like that. They probably had a bunch of God's Willings and all that kind of stuff. Hmm. Well, against Feather, I think I want Coil and Veteran. And I'm going to reduce Shock. We'll still play, like, two Shock. Shock doesn't really kill hardly anything. Kills, like, yeah, basically nothing. Kills, like, the, the two mana 2-2 two, two bef before they would pump it at all. Or Coil can kill the 1-3. Um, may just cut Shock altogether. I don't feel like Icon is doing a ton for us, though. All right, maybe go 2 Shock, 2 Coil, 2 Veteran. Kind of split it up. I didn't say hi, Soul Farmer. Hello. If I missed you there. Hmm. A little expensive. A little expensive, but I like that we got two lands already. Yeah, no Chain Whirlers. I guess Chain Whirler, you don't get to reduce the cost. Not difficult to play. Um, the War Chief. The War Chief doesn't reduce the cost of Chain Whirler. I don't, yes, I don't know that name. I don't know that card, Soul Farmer. That, I think that might be a different card in English. What's up, JJ? Getting that resub in here. Thank you so much. Um, Deckmaster is not on. Nope, I could definitely turn that on. I forgot about that. Azrauth. All right, Deckmaster is now on. Warchief. I really hope they don't kill the Warchief. Boo. Could have led with Icon first. the slow route. <laughs> well, hopefully you're having a better day today, today Azeroth. Um, 
Um, Alright, I probably should have done this the first in the first place. I'll just do it now so that Shock can't kill Krenko War Boss Ringleader. They have a whole lot better hand than what they had last time, that's for sure. Hey, what's up, Predicted? There we go. Yes, this is the first match. We won game one. They didn't have any creatures. But game two, they've had a good solid hand, and it looks like we're going to die. Really need to show them anymore. We can't uh, can't really win from there. Yeah, I don't. I mean, I don't really know exactly what Grum Goalie does for for the deck. I mean, you know, I guess it just add some counters to the creatures. I mean, I, I think it's comparable to playing Icon, um, but you get to grab it off Ringleader. Um, so, yeah, I mean, Grum, Grum Goalie would be perfectly fine instead of Icon or Rhythm of the Wild. Probably. I mean, I don't, I don't really like Icon or, or Rhythm of the Wild that much. Oh, sorry, predicted. I missed that. Sorry. <laughs> Thanks, Azrael. Okay, so like the icon because of the late game. I yeah, I was thinking that just that just in the main deck. I guess what I was saying before is that instead of rhythm and icon, I would kind of prefer the three cards in the sideboard. The um, you know the trash master, the the removal spell that we were just talking about, the four mana one, and the six mana Chandra. Just having those in in the main deck, in some capacity. But that's also you know without me without me trying or anything. So like I could certainly be wrong. Yay, no shock. Because this is pretty awesome. Rhythm giving Krenko haste. That's pretty awesome. Now this next turn I get to go War Chief and then Krenko with haste with the counter. You know, we can put it, the counter on... Oh. 
That's not bad. I, I was kind of expecting them to have some kind of pump effect, you know, like you know, like a God's willing or something like that that would pump up the the tenth district legionnaire. Oh, I just had all all removal. Go, Castle Lambert, go. All right. Picked up a win. Okay, well, Rhythm of the Wild looked really good there. Looked really, really good, giving Krenko haste. And then giving our other goblins that had haste, give them the plus one, plus one counters. Looked really good. Yeah, ranking up with goblins. Hey, McLam. Yeah, New Year is going awesome. Oh no, I didn't. I didn't make any changes to the lands. No, but so far. So far, our lands have been awesome. Uh, the first game we mulliganed because that we only had one land. Because you know, there's only the twenty. But besides that, we have been uh, we have been good. All right, so now I want to kill the land war off. Like killing turn one land war off is definitely necessary. Do I shock or firebrand? What do y'all think? It's gonna die. The bird's getting bolted. It's just how am I bolting it? Firebrand does less damage normally, but Firebrand can attack and can ramp. Yeah, it's kind of split. Firebrand, Shock, it's kind of split. Um, Alright, so I think that we should do... I think we should do Shock. I think we should save Firebrand. I think Firebrand's a better card. Okay. Turns out it didn't matter. So I could play Prospector there, obviously. Um, I kind of feel like waiting till after Rhythm of the Wild. Making it a two two instead of a one a one one. What? I just didn't block. Yeah, eBay is probably your best bet, Treadman.
kind of wish we had some more of those castles. That red castle looked really nice. We got we got two of them. Nature will take back what rightfully belongs to it. Get them. We need ringleader. We need to refill our hands. We don't need a third of our lands also, but we need ringleader. That's what we need. Nope. I still feel like we should just have these volley veterans in the main deck. We're going to play all the Volley Veterans and the Coils. Um, hmm. It's like our creatures are just pretty small compared to theirs. Really, the only way we're going to win this is going wide. Well, I guess we, we got Volley Veteran, though. They, they can help out. Like, do we just cut all of those? Do I cut, like, Krankos and War Bosses? Like, that's probably not the answer. Hey, Forks. Three Veteran and Trash Master. Okay, I definitely want to put in all the veterans, and I, I don't think we, you should ever take out ringleader. You know, I know it's another four, but min you, minus a war boss and a Krenko. I could see that because we do have just a bunch of threes and everything. I'm gonna take out a song of Frailies. <clears throat> I'm. Yeah, because like the thing about Song of Freilies is, you know, drawing multiples is usually not very good. <laughs> uh, this is the problem with Song of Freilies. It only really does stuff when you have a lot of creatures, also, and we don't. I hate mulliganing a three land hand with this deck. Okay, we still get a three land hand. Um, it's either putting back a land or putting back the instigator. It's one of those two. My curve is pretty high, and we don't have very many lands in the deck, and I'm really worried about putting back a land and then just having a bunch of three drops and everything. So my plan here, which is not going to be good against Shock, but my plan here is to use Prospector as Lotus Petal and play turn 2 Kranko, and then hopefully they don't have removal and turn 2 Kranko can dominate. That's my plan. It's a very, very fragile plan. But it's a plan. Hey, thank you so much there, Craig Gazin. Thank you so much for the uh, Twitch Prime sub. Brand new Twitch Prime sub there. Our third of the day. 
Oh, do I, or do I abandon, do I abort plan and kill elf? No, plan. And then they play a blocker here and I kill, I kill said blocker and then attack in with a big Cranko and then Cranko is good. That's plan. Come on, a 5-5? Five five? It's not fair. Ringleader, where are you? Uh, we did not struggle drawing lands in our 20 land deck. That's a pretty good curve. All right. Yeah, they curved out pretty good, those games. And their cards are a lot more powerful individually than ours, and so if they're curving out, and we didn't curve out either game. Rankler, the tier three sub. What is up? Thank you so much there, Rankler. But yeah, you know the drill? Tier 3 sub, you get a donation deck if you'd like. You just let me know. But that is awesome. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you, Wrangler. Thank you. Okay, perfect, Wrangler. Perfect. All right, we need to draw more goblins. We have a very combo-rific hand. We need to draw more goblins. Okay, let's see. Goblins don't have haste right now. Um. Yeah, you can still play mono blue. It's not, that's not necessarily one of the best decks. Oh, the token doesn't have haste, does it? Whoa, 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 whoa. What is what is going on here? Why did it just go straight to attackers?
Don't just skip my, my main phase. What are you doing? Oh, it doesn't. Oh, this doesn't. Oh, that doesn't work like I thought it would. They don't get to tap. Well, that's not cool. Well, that's not cool. Okay, so just yeah, just the creatures that are on the battlefield at the beginning of my pre-combat main phase. Of the, like they're just the ones that are on the battlefield at the time of the trigger. Well, I probably should have played. I probably should have played the. Um, the other song of Fraley's the previous turn then, so it could be you know, so it could be going with the third chapter this turn. Uh, I don't know, Liquid Soap. Um, you know, like, I if you just kind of browse through, like, go to the YouTube channel, kind of browse through the videos, there's, you know, I have, you know, dozens and dozens of different decks and everything. So, you, you know, different people, you know, find different things fun. So, you know, just kind of browse through there and see what, uh, you know, what, what pops out is something that, that you think would be fun. So yeah, we got to see that third chapter on Song of Fraley's is pretty awesome. Okay, they do produce mana until my until my next turn, so I didn't have to main phase the shock. All right, well I guess I just didn't know how that card worked like at all. <laughs> um. This one should be a little bit better for us. They got smaller creatures. That's that's good. So the smaller creatures, yeah, I, I think we can kind of take out these things a little more, and then, then these are a little more valuable. I've liked this Rhythm of the Wild more than I've liked this Icon. Yeah, I had an Abzan Knights somewhere. If I could go look for it, you can just YouTube Abzan Knights Todd Stevens. Here we go. It's a donation deck, but there you go. Maybe check out that. Uh, 61, um, as far as I know, Stream Decker is updated. Y'all will have to tell me on your, in, on your end, as, as far as I know it is. Yeah, both both the Abzan decks we played yesterday are probably stronger than the that Abzan Knights deck. Probably, but yeah, they're all good. 
Yeah, Theros looks really sweet. It's, looks like a fun set to play, too. So what's the line? Is it War Boss? Or is it Rhythm of the Wild? Hey, what's up, Tree Fitty? Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. Boss time. It's our fifth sub of the day. Tree Fitty back for an entire year. Getting the fanciest tie badge now. Why is everybody playing these devout decrees? <laughs> I don't really have any plans for Brawl right now. Um, the Brawl videos did did really poorly on on YouTube. And therefore, I don't, know, I don't really have any plans for new ones right now. Go, ringleader, go. Yuck. Sweet. All right, two and one with goblins. The Vampires and Feathers. <laughs> yeah, no Grum Gully. Um, yeah, there's no Grum Gully, no Chain Whirler. It's the thing, is just all the good cards with Goblins cost three. We can't play them all. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't have any, I don't have any like rules ag against donating for a brawl deck. Double forest. All right, I think we're gonna put back the forest. Means I do need to draw another land. But I like the rest of the hand so much. No. The match we lost was opponent playing turn one land war off and then just curving out with all this gruel stuff. I didn't like it. And then we also so couple that with us drawing a three drop. That's not good either. Huh. Come on, I'll land. Well now I don't get to go like Song of Freely's into three drop even if we draw a land. Dang. 
Ugh, I should have put down a three drop. That's why I basically always keep the three lands. I don't usually put a land back when mulliganing. We have found our deck struggles against Questing Beast, though. Okay. Alright, thank you so much there, Kendis, for that donation deck. So an Is It Proliferate deck idea build around. Is It Proliferate. All right, yeah, when when do you want me to play it? Saturday, first slot? Um, that's not going to work. No, Saturday, I'm not streaming Saturday. Well, if, if I am streaming, I can maybe make it... Yeah. Yeah, Sunday. We can do Sunday. Yeah, Kendis, you're the, Kendis is the one that made the command about me not streaming that day. Yeah, it's just if I if I'm gonna be able to get home in time to be able to stream the MCQ, I don't know if I will. My flight comes in on Saturday. You know, it's on Saturday. You know, my flight home does. So I don't know. Could have really used that third land. Seriously? Um, no, probably can't do it the weekend after that, Kendis, because the, that's the new set's going to be out by then. Okay, so a week from today, Monday, first slot. Yeah, I just have to go that line to try to trade with this questing beast. We gotta just have volley veterans in our deck. It's been the card that I've wanted every single game. Um... I kind of ancestry this is way too slow. It really is. It's it's like I don't know, you could maybe have this as sideboard against Esper, maybe, but it's just really too slow. 
I need volley veterans. The Rhythm of the Wild, I've liked that, because given like, the, the creature's haste, or the plus one, plus one counter if they already have haste, I've, I like that. I don't like these Icon of Ancestries at all. Uh, we, realistically, we probably have to cut a Shock, a Coil, or a Veteran. Or a Song. Okay. Cool. We'll go with the shock. This is the kind of opening hand where it's it's not great just to do nothing until turn three, and like this doesn't look that good, but it has a lot of potential to with all of our draw steps being being pretty nice. You know, those keeping if this you know keeping five lands, we know we're not going to get um, mana screwed like we did that last game, and that's the thing with this deck with only twenty lands. You know, like we mulligan, we only have like one land, and it's just like we're. It's very risky to mulligan and have like a one lander or even a two lander and not be able to play a competitive game of magic. We're at least going to be play be competitive as long as we draw spells, which, you know, there's only 15 spells left, 38 non-spells. We should hopefully be drawing a lot of spells. Yeah, I, I don't like Icon of Ancestry at all. I, I don't think it's... Very powerful. I'm going to try Cranko here. Hoping that they don't get to, they don't kill the Cranko and and then I get the counter on it with Song of Freilies and you know make it indestructible and all that kind of stuff. I don't imagine that we were supposed to draw shock after <laughs> Gilded Goose already did its things, already did its stuff. Yeah, Vanquisher's Banner, yeah, that would be better than Icon. Yeah, Vanquisher's Banner would be a lot better than Icon. Especially how we can get there with Song of Freyly. Yeah, yeah, Vanquisher's Banner would be so much better. That's a good call there. Firebrand can't kill Goose. We 
but just kind of see that you know both of our losses are just decks that are playing just a lot higher card quality than we are yeah you know, like these these cards are just really pitiful compared to uh you know like wicked wolves and questing beasts and stuff like that um but you know we do have like some powerful stuff you know like some powerful synergies when it comes together but just like individually like these these cards are really really weak that's just that's how it is playing playing goblins Well, we can trade that Firebrand for the Brazen Barber. I mean, Banner's not that pricey. I mean, we were playing Song of Freilies and Skirk Prospector. It's not it's not pricier than Icon. Icon costs three to play, then three to activate each time you want to activate it. You have to like pay three to activate and then try to cast the spell that you get also. Icon's a, a lot more pricey than banner, than just a one time pay five mana, pump your whole team and draw a lot of cards. Alright, ringleader is the best draw. Okay, so you said go ahead and So predicted, what do you what do you think if we try veterans and a banner in the main deck? And take out these icons. Okay. Cool. And then um what's another good cyborg card that we have? the kill stuff I mean the sideboard should just have chain whirlers if we don't have them in the main deck against small creature decks like we should just be playing chain whirlers right like there's no reason not to be playing chain whirlers right at least in the sideboard if we don't have them in the main Okay, let's try that. Yeah, I understand Chain Whirler doesn't get the price reduction from War Boss um, or from War Chief. Um, sorry, War Chief. But there are still a lot of decks that are playing X ones, a lot of small creature decks, and. We we should still have it in our sideboard. It's better than something like Crater Maker. Hmm. I'm on the draw.
going to update our deckless commands. We had two volley veteran. One. Vanquisher's banner. None of those. So now this goes down to two. Take out Crater Maker. Or Goblin Chain Roller. Okay. I really wish the new creatures that you kept playing would would keep be able to add mana. That would be really nice. Hmm. You know, I wish we could, you know, place Kirk Prospector and then tap it for mana and then also sack it for mana. Yeah, you know, I wish we could do all that stuff. Yeah, we have the goblin that gives them all haste and reduces the cost. War chief, yeah. Um, Obviously, if they, if they have anything, I'm dead, obviously. My best hope is they don't have anything. The haste part of Rhythm of the Wild is pretty important, too, though. Ugh. Nope, they had something. We're just too slow for these Gruul decks. So this is, this is like where we need, like this is why we need Chain Whirler, because Chain Whirler is just a really good blocker. It's a 3-3 first striker. You don't get like two Chain Whirlers. Like these Krenkos and War Bosses are just too slow. And by too slow, I mean too small. Sorry, that's the word I meant to say was small. Um...
I was a very good ringleader. All right, let's give this a try. Let's give this a try. I'm gonna take out Krenko and War Boss. They're they're just too small. They're really not doing doing very much against these bigger gruel creatures. That would have been great to have Skirk Prospector here, like where we instead of Firebrand, where we could sack Prospector and, and play Chain Whirler. That would have been a great time to have Prospector. Chain Whirler, you great. Alright, so Song of Freilies did absolutely nothing again. Hmm. <clears throat> Song did pay off one time. In the like against like the, the vampire deck. Song of Freilies was good. Just the one time, though. Hey, reloaded. Maybe, maybe more than the one time. Maybe there was another time. Hey, what's up, Mike? Yeah, I guess it's kind of the problem with with putting ring like you know cards like Rhythm of the Wild in the ringleader deck. I am Scala's Vengeance, and I'm coming for you next. Um. You picked the wrong fight. That was a good draw. Castle. Yeah, the castle's been awesome. The castle's been awesome. Yeah, Grumgully doesn't give. Grumgully would not give your creatures haste, but. Like, I have really liked the Rhythm of the Wild, but I'm not going to say that Rhythm of the Wild is definitely better than Grumgully. 
because because yeah, Grum Goalie is a goblin, so you know it counts for all your other goblin stuff, and it puts counters on even your on on your tokens also, like with Cranko um, and Instigator, like your tokens get counters on them also. So that's really cool too. I know a lot of y'all keep on saying Grum Goalie all the time. Um, I'm not saying that. Basically, I'm not really saying I'm not. I'm not really ready to declare either one necessarily definitely better. I could definitely see Grum Goalie being better. Um, but the rhythm of the wild's been very good for us. The haste has been awesome at different times with the Cranko, and yeah, like opponent had like removal spell, they couldn't use it on, couldn't use removal spell on, on rhythm of the wild. We untap, they play something else. We untap, we get haste Cranko, um, and then yeah, like it is difficult to remove rhythm. It is true. It's a lot easier to remove Grum Goalie. I I don't know. They have pluses and minuses. While Grum Goalie, like, you know, saying Grum Goalie is really good with Cranko, it's really good whenever you attack with Cranko and you get the extra tokens, but it doesn't help Grum Goalie attack, where Rhythm of the Wild helps Grum Goalie attack. I'm gonna put back the song. It's either put back song or put back like castle. And keep just the two lands. Maybe I should just keep the two lands because of Song adding more mana. That could have been a wrong decision by me. Yeah, I mean, that's looking like that was a wrong decision by me. We've drawn two more lands. So wish I had Song of Freilies. All right, have a good night, Soul Farmer. Draw a Lava Coil. Chain Whirler holding down the fort here. We just gotta draw a Lava Coil. Yeah, Elder 2, I'll be doing a, an entire set review when the whole set's out. Um, probably after I come back from my trip this week.
Don't really know how I'm supposed to be sequencing this. Obviously, I can't shock. Um, if I want to play War Chief first, I'd have to like sack two things to get to Ringleader. Um, Trash Master doesn't really help me too much. I think we do this because we got to find. There we go. We got a, a Firebrand. Okay. We have to find a volley veteran and a firebrand. So we got the firebrand. Now we gotta draw we gotta draw either coil or volley veteran. Okay, well that that'll that'll keep me alive for a little bit. Definitely wish I did not, did not put the uh, Song of Fraley's down to the bottom. Hey, Amatran. It's going really good. So we have Ringleader look for another Firebrand or Volley Veteran. I don't think I play War Chief first, even though normally I'd want to. Alright, so if I do play War Chief first, actually, maybe I do. Yeah, actually, I do. There we go. Found them both. Take out that thing. Um... We're pretty close to killing them. Okay. Instigator can add mana for me. I should shock this Pulp Collector first. Because it's going to grow from the Bone Crusher Giant. Alright, so their blocks. They want to keep a creature alive. They only they block two things. So they go block, block. They take 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 20. They're dead. Can't keep anything up. So they can block three things and stay alive. Three, six, nine, 
12, 15, 17. So then a haste creature kills me. So if I attack out like this, I'm dead to a haste creature. I guess I'm not actually dead to a haste creature. We can play blockers. We can just sack some of these. Play some blockers. <clears throat> That is all your fault, Sinister, and Matthew, and Starman. Y'all are like, they're just going to have Questing Beast, you're going to be dead to Questing Beast. Why do y'all have to say that? Why do y'all have to give them Questing Beast like that? Why do you got to do that? No, that's not the only way we lose the game. I mean, we're at two. So, like, they have, you know, like, they have Bone Crusher Giant that we already saw and, you know, shocks and stuff like that. So, they could just have any kind of shock and kill me. I'm at two. It's like Bone Crusher Giant killed me, like, the whole time also. So, I had to put pressure on. I could, you know, obviously I could have left more back. And may not as big of an attack. Oh my gosh. No, that's y'all's fault for just saying they're going to have, for predicting they're going to have Questing Beast. Then they draw it. You got you to gotta be like, oh, good thing they're going to draw nothing. And then they draw nothing. Um, but yeah, so there we go. Uh, I wasn't super impressed with Song of Fraley's. It was I don't know. It wasn't it wasn't bad. That's the thing about goblins, is just the one and two mana cards are just so weak. The three and four mana cards are awesome. Um I mean honest like as we saw there, like we put in Chain Whirler there against Gruel and it looked really good both games. Um you just kinda need this thing to be able to you know, to just to block like those those gruel creatures. Um Honestly, I would kind of prefer having Chain Whirlers, vol Volley Veterans, Trash Masters, that kind of stuff. But that's all three and four mana cards, and we can't have three and four mana all the time. I wonder if, like, the way to play this with Gruul isn't Song of Fraley's. I wonder if it's, like, just playing mana creatures, you know, playing... Um, you know, playing Land of War Elf and Paradise Druid and maybe Gilded Goose. And just playing those things. And then playing all sorts of awesome goblins at three and four mana. Yeah, you could have a copy of Torbran. Yes, we, we've talked about Grumgoli a lot. Every single person's always talked... Just keep on saying Grumgoli. I, I understand Grumgoli is a goblin. Yes, Grumgoli is a goblin. And all your goblins enter with 1-1 one -one counters with, with Grumgoli. I, I don't have an answer whether Grumgoli is better than Rhythm of the Wild or not. They have their pluses and minuses. We talked about that before. The deck that we had here had Rhythm of the Wild. I could see if you want to play Grumgoli instead of Rhythm of the Wild, i say go for it. Um, and you draw a card off Vanquishers. Yeah, yes, yeah, so you draw cards off Vanquishers at for whenever you cho choose Goblins to give you the card advantage. But maybe that's the way to play Gruul is just play just play Mana Creatures because because this curve is so high. Um, 
Cranko's a lot better when you can give Cranko haste. Crank so Cranko works really well with Rhythm of the Wild because you get to give give Cranko haste. But honestly, honestly, I I think the Chain Wheeler is probably a better card. Now War Chief, War Chief makes like War Chief works a lot better with Cranko. Like well, War Chief just this works well because it costs two mana. Like you get to reduce the cost. Chain Wheeler, you don't get to reduce the cost at all. Chain Wheeler is always going to be costing red, red, red for you. It's never going to get reduced cost um, off of War Chief. Um, so that's that's something to think about. But as we saw, there's just a lot of creatures in Historic. Basically, every single deck that we played against was a creature deck. Um, yeah, like all five decks were creature decks where Chain Whirler would have would have been really good. And same with Volley Veteran. Just so there's lots and lots of creature decks for those cards. Um, but but there we go. Um, so yeah, just kind of something to think about. Song of Freelies was was moderate at best, but maybe instead of this stuff. Like you could still you still probably have enough goblins for ringleader, even if you just have like all these top end goblins for the most part. Cause I hadn't I hadn't really thought about going gruel and just playing like Land War Elf, Paradise Druid, um, Gilded Goose, that kind of stuff. And then trying to play these. Cause a lot of times I'm just gonna, I'm just using Scott, Skirk Prospector, playing Prospector on one at turn two, sacking Prospector and playing a three drop. Like you might as well just play Gilded Goose. Mana's got to be pretty tough with that, though. Like, we'd have to figure out what to do with mana-wise to be able to to be able to, um, be able to help that out. But it's all stuff to think about there. All right, uh, so there we go. Gruel Goblins. All right, so those of y'all watching on YouTube, uh, feel free to hit that like button over there. And, you know, feel free to leave those comments uh, if you're playing Goblins yourself and you have uh, some ideas of how to take advantage of all of the threes and fours that you can play in goblins and still have a good curve. Like how, like how are you curving out with like the one and the two mana slots? Cause that's really what's, what's the hardest, uh, most difficult thing with gruel. All right. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching some gruel goblins. Yeah. I wish we had ether vial and, uh, but anyway, I'll see you for the next video.